when compared with the ordinary light and monochromatic light the laser is having a, a different properties in these aspects so the first one is directionality monochromaticity coherence intensity and brightness when compared with ordinary light and monochromatic light these are the special characteristics of a laser so we will go one by one the first one is directionality if you take an ordinary light or a monochromatic light both will spreads the light in all directions so this pro spreading the light in all directions is known as the divergence but if you take the laser light it spreads the light only in one direction so the divergence is very less for a laser light so this property or spreading the light or moving moving the light in one particular direction is known as the directionality so in this case if you consider a small laser a normally constructed laser the divergence is about a milli radians so well constructed and a final very good laser the radians the divergence is around 0.01 milli radians and if you consider the ordinary light a search light or anything the divergence is around 0.5 radians so this is very less when compared with that one so without any divergence a laser light can travel a long distances that's why the communications by using a lasers can be traveled from earth to to a moon nowadays because of this less divergence property a less divergence property because of that one a uh, information is carrying the communication is conducting between uh, earth and moon so this is the very good property of a uh, laser light when compared with ordinary and monochromatic light the second characteristics of laser is monochromaticity monochromaticity means a single wavelength when compared with the ordinary light or uh, ordinary monochromatic light like uh, sodium vapor lamp laser will give you a single wavelength that means it is a very good monochromatic source of light now in ordinary light or a monochromatic sodium vapor lamp the transition between the energy levels will occur from different energy levels to the ground state due to that one the photons of different wavelengths will be emitted in different direction like spontaneous emission due to that we will get a n number of wavelengths a few number of wavelengths but in case of laser light the transition will occur between two energy two fixed energy levels so due to that one a fixed wavelength of photons will emit them. so the so that we can have a monochromatic single wavelength monochromatic will be emitted so if you take the ordinary monochromatic light uh, sodium vapor lamp the wavelength uh, is around 5893 angstrom units for an ordinary sodium vapor lamp so this 5893 it will never occur throughout the uh, light propagation it will occur very near to the source only that means at one particular point only you can have that wavelength suppose if you consider the sodium vapor lamp it will spread the light in all directions because it's having the divergence property you can have this 5893 very near the source only at this particular position only you can have 5000 if you go beyond that one the wavelength keep on diminishing but if you take the laser light it will spread the light in one particular direction because of the directionality property so whatever the position you have taken it is it will carry the same wavelength because the transition is occurring between the two fixed energy levels because of that you can have a single wavelength so sing, simply we can say that laser light is a perfect monochromatic light when compared with the ordinary monochromatic light or ordinary light so since uh, if the line width of this Mono, a laser light is very less when compared with the ordinary or monochromatic light. The third characteristics of lasers is coherence. A coherence means it's a property of wave that there is a predictability of uh, amplitude and phase between two different points in a single light ray or uh, in between the neighboring light rays. So based on that, we are having two types of coherences are there temporal or longitudinal coherence, spatial or transverse coherence. So the temporal coherence means if you are able to compare any two different points uh, on a single wave or a single light ray which is emitted uh, which is a laser light if you are able to compare this point uh, p1 and p2 at uh, different times nothing but at time at time at time t1 at point p1 the amplitude and uh, phase is equal to at some other time t2 
at point P2 also we are having the same amplitude and phase. Then these two points are said to be in a temporal coherence. So this the length between these two comparative points is called a coherence length LC. So this coherence length LC in ordinary light or monochromatic light is around we can compare around in cent millimeters that means we can compare this point and very neighboring point only we are able to compare this point p1 and p2 that means the length is very less but if you take in a, a laser light we can compare this point and after a few kilometers also we can compare the same point that means these two points are having the same amplitude and same phase that's why it is having a good temporal coherence laser light and coming to the next one, the spatial coherence or transfer coherence. That means we are comparing the amplitude and phase of one point with respect to the neighboring points. So if at this point and at this point if amplitude and say, uh, phase both are same, then these light rays are said to be in spatial coherent. Since we are comparing one point with the other point in the same wave. Now we are comparing one point with the other point in a neighboring waves, a different waves. So if you take the cross section of this one at any position take uh, 1 2 3 4 5 label this as 1 2 5 at position a light ray laser light is having a trough here and uh, 4 also having trough and if you consider the position b cross section at position b light ray 1 is having trough here light ray 4 also having trough here sorry crust here and crust here so we can compare at position a and at position b all the light rays that's why it is said to be a spatial coherence in whatever the direction you have taken we can compare any one point with the other points in the same wave or at different waves so by with this we can tell that uh, laser lights are, are very good coherent sources when compared with ordinary light and uh, monochromatic light even though we are producing a very good coherent sources by using monochromatic light the distance is very limited but by using lasers in far distance also we can derive a good coherent sources. The fourth property of fourth characteristics of laser is intensity. So intensity means the number of photons per unit area. The number of photons concentrated per unit area is known as the intensity. So if you look at a 100 watt of uh, bulb uh, at a distance of 30 centimeters, the power entering into your eye is uh, very less than 1 by 1000 watts, less than this much. So very less power is entering into your eye because of the divergence property of ordinary light and if you consider the laser light because of its directionality property more power is entering into your eye because number of photons concentrated on a single portion is high so intensity of laser light is high there are certain uh, lasers which are having a 10 power 15 watts of energies or power is concentrated in a one square feet region that means within a less region more energy is concentrated that's why because of this high focusing uh, property of uh, laser light bulk materials can be cut exactly and accurately. So if you consider uh, two coherent sources which are having amplitude A and A in YDS experiment, the Young's double slit experiment, the resultant screen, the resultant intensity of bright fringe on the screen is uh, around uh, I is proportional to 2 square of the amplitude, 2 A square like that. In laser light, we are having n number of coherent sources as we discussed earlier in temporal way or in coherent. Temporal coherence or in co spatial coherence, we are having n number of coherent sources. That's why the intensity of laser light is directly proportional to n a whole square. That means more intensity you can have. Now, if you consider the last one, the brightness. Because of this uh, high directionality property of laser light and high intensity, it will produce enormous amount of uh, brightness. So we can look at into a 100 watt bulb or 200 watt bulb, just we can uh, see that one. But a 1 milliwatt of uh, laser light that we can't see, it's having high energy because most of the energy is concentrated in a small region. Now. If you, this 1 milliwatt of helium neon laser will is will produce 100 times brighter than the sun brightness. So, so because of uh, high directionality and uh, high intensity, a laser light can produce uh, enormous amount of brightness. We can see 
uh, we can look at an ordinary bulb of 100 watts or 200 watts. So, but we can't look at uh, 1 milliwatt of laser light because more energy or more power is concentrated in a single region like this. So, if you consider the LMDR laser of uh, 1 milliwatt, it can produce a brightness 100 times greater than a sun. So, the like that. Laser light can produce high amount of brightness when compared with the ordinary light or monochromatic light. So, in total, these are the good characteristics of laser light when compared with the ordinary light or monochromatic light. Because of it is having good directionality, that means it produces a laser light in one particular direction, whereas the ordinary light can produce the light in all directions, divergence property that is. And monochromaticity, a single wavelength, because the light is uh, transmitting between uh, two fixed energy levels. Transition is between two fixed energy levels and coherence we can compare one laser one point with the same other point in the same wavelength same laser light or with the another laser neighboring light light and intensity it's having more intensity because of its high directionality property and more brightness because of uh, the more directionality property and high intensity it will produce a more brightness so these are the characteristics of laser